What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next example in the exponential functions unit test, another application question. So the population of a city is growing at an average rate of 4.2% per year. In 1992, the population was 8,400. Given that information, we have to answer parts A to C. So notice the difference between this question and the question that we did before, the half-life question. In this particular question, we are given a growth rate as a percentage, 4.2%. And if you remember from the lecture videos, whenever you're given a growth rate as a percentage, sometimes you'll be given a decay rate as a percentage. We know that the equation we're gonna be using is the final amount equals the initial amount, one plus R to the power of T, or in this case, it's going to be X like that, right? So if something is growing, this R value is gonna be positive, like in this case, right? The population is growing at 4.2%, but sometimes you might get questions where something is decaying by a certain percentage. So if it was decaying by like 30%, then the R would be negative 0.3. And we've done examples like that in the lecture videos. So sometimes you'll maybe get like a car is depreciating at a certain percentage every year, right? Then that R value here would be negative. But if something is growing, like in this case, the R value is gonna be positive. And you always gotta remember that this R value here, that has to be in decimals, not in percentages. So basically for part A, we gotta create an equation, plugging everything in, we got our initial amount, 8,400. We gotta convert the 4.2% into a decimal, 0 0.042, and then that's gonna to be to the power of x, and then x is basically the number of years after 1992, like that, right? Because 1992, that's basically when the population, that initial population that we're looking at was uh, 8,400. So X is gonna represent the number of years after 1992. Okay, and so making this look a little bit nicer, basically the equation we're gonna be using throughout this question is gonna be that right there. Now in part A, what they're asking us for is, what's the population gonna be in the year 2010? So. First thing we have to do is plug in something for X here. Now, remember X is the number of years after 1992. So if you take 2010 and subtract 1992, how many years went by? Well, basically 18. So we would plug in 18 for the X value. And then you would solve for the F value. And doing the algebra here, you would take 1.042 to the power of 18, you do the exponent first, you'd get 2.097, then you do the multiplication, 2.097 times 8,400, and then you get a population of 17,616. So after 18 years, or in the year 2010, that's what the population is going to be. Now in part C, what we're gonna be doing is the opposite because now they're asking us when is the population going to triple? So if we're starting at an initial value of 8,400, if you multiply that by three, that would be the population tripling, that would be 25,200. So now we're being asked, when are we gonna get to that population? How many years is it gonna take? And so we are gonna be solving for that X value. So notice the difference between these two questions. In part B, we were given the X value, 18, plugged it in to get the final population. Here, we're given the final population, we have to solve for when are we gonna get to that final population. We have to solve for X. And so what you would do here, first you gotta divide both sides by 8,400, like this. Uh, and so these would cancel out. So you'd end up with 1.042 to the power of X, 25,200 divided by 8,400 gives us three. And actually this is one thing I wanted to mention in between this. We actually didn't need 
to have an initial population to answer part C. You can get a question where they only give you the growth rate of something and they don't give you an initial amount and they say how long would it take for the population to triple? And the reason why is because if we weren't given an initial amount, so let's just keep that as I, growth rate is basically the same. Well, if you think about, or sorry, this is gonna be the power of X. If you think about it, if they're asking us, how long is it gonna take for the population to triple? Well, that's gonna be three times the initial value. That's gonna be three I over here. And you'd have I 1.042 to the power of X. Well, when we divide both sides by I, notice that we're always gonna end up with a three on that left side. And so that's something I wanted to mention we have gone through examples like that in the lecture videos where we're not given an initial population, we're just given a growth rate, could be also a decay rate, and they say how long does it take for the population to double or for the population to triple. You don't need an actual initial amount because it's all about the proportions. That's what's really uh, important or that's what ultimately matters. You're going to end up with this equation to solve like we have here no matter what the initial population is. Okay, so I wanted to mention that again because a lot of times students will be confused. They'll say, hey, they didn't give me initial population. How do I do this? Well, the initial population isn't going to matter. The proportion is because the I's are going to cancel out anyway. Okay, so just be on the lookout for questions like that as well. Um, okay, so from here, as we've mentioned, you could solve this with logarithms. So remember, if I have something like uh, n equals m to the power of y, and I want to isolate for this exponent y, basically the formula is I take log of this and divide it by log of the base. So notice that the n is like the 3, the m is the 1.042, and then the y is the x, right? So if we're isolating for the exponent, which is x in this case, we would write x equals log of n, log of 3, divided by log of m, which is the base, in this case, log of 1.042, like that. Okay, and that would give you 26.7. So it's going to take 26.7 years for this population to triple at a growth rate of 4.2%. And then if they asked you, in what year is the population going to triple? Well, you would take 26.7 and add it to that initial year of 1992. And you would get 2018.7. So in the year 2018, within that year, that's when the population is going to triple. So they might ask you for the number of years it's going to take or the actual year that it would be. And you would just add that number to whatever that initial amount was or that initial year was. In this case, it was 1990. And that is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to find more videos like this, you can go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. Over there, all my courses are organized for both high school and university. All the videos are organized by chapter. Also, if you have any questions, you can hit me up. My contact details are also on the website. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.